Hi guys, wanted to give you an update on the conductivity probe from Apex. There are a couple of issues with this. It took me several days pulling some hair out. Maybe even got a few extra gray hairs out of the deal. Read on all kinds of forums, all kinds of things. Um, Bulk Reef Supply has a video, not quite accurate. I wanted to kind of straighten a few things out. Anyways, added the conductivity probe the other day. Took four or five days, I think, to straighten it out. Do not put it in water. If you do, you will have to wait 24 hours for it to dry completely out. It will not dry out in the two hours that they tell you on the video from BRS. Anyways, get yourself a little storage probe vial container. It's got an O-ring on the top. It's actually made for storing probes. You can get them from scientific supply places locally. Online, I'm sure you can find them. I've had a couple of them for years. It's how you store pH probes. Anyways, you put the probe, you pour the 5300 solution in the bottle, fills it up to about there. Insert your probe clear to the very bottom, just a little bit of distance there. Make sure the probe is completely submerged in. After you calibrate it dry, you insert the probe in here, almost all the way to the bottom. Turn the bottle upside down with the probe in it and sh make sure the probe is completely submerged here in the bottom. And this container will fill up a little more because the probe's in there. But shake it and turn the probe upside down until absolutely all the bottles come out of the little tiny holes on the probe. They don't tell you this. You can't find it on Apex website, nothing. I fiddled with it for four days until you get every bubble out of that probe when it's inserted in here you will not get an accurate reading when you calibrate so again put the probe get you one of these bottles put the probe in it turn it upside down make sure you get all the air out of the probe and you can set this bottle in there and float it with the probe on it it won't leak it sits there and floats comes up to temperature you calibrate it you're done you double check to make sure before you pull the probe out double check to make sure that you got the right reading about 1.026 I think it was 35 um, parts per thousand anyways once you get it set you double check the reading then go ahead and pull the probe out put it in your sump or wherever you have make sure you keep it away from these super fine bubbles that come through here anywhere into your sump put it to the far far back as far away as you can from the air bubbles to get the most accurate reading if there's any air bubbles it will fluctuate the, the probe fluctuates as far as I can tell at this point point three on the specific gravity scale anyways I don't know if it's that reliable yet I'm still testing it making sure I used to run this old octopus deal from Aquadine. The pH probes were never that accurate after a couple weeks. They get dirty. I've noticed that these lab grade probes from Apex do not fall out of adjustment or need cleaning that much. Even the one here in the pH, the pH in the calcium reactor doesn't seem to need to be pulled out and cleaned near as often as the ones from Aquadine. Um, still testing out, still playing. I wouldn't risk my system on that conductivity probe just yet. Get yourself an old school float in jobby. Be able to turn it upside down, get the air bubbles out of this guy, turn it back around. Gives you a pretty accurate reading. I don't know, just as accurate it seems as the conductivity probe. I don't know if it's worth the 200 and whatever dollars that you pay for the probe and the box up here to make it work. Um, still, like I say, I'm researching it. I've been doing this, geez, 30 years I've been keeping saltwater fish, so I'm still old school ways. I like being double or triple redundant. Don't trust anything. These Aquadyne systems here that ran, the old octopus that ran on the X-10 systems were so unreliable. Sometimes the contactors would stick. The X-10 contactors would stick and then it would douse your pH uncontrolled and it wouldn't turn off until it emptied the whole damn thing. By then your, your pH has skyrocketed 
or dropped way beyond control end up crashing your whole tank pretty much with this system I just got a little uh, aqua lifter pump pushing a little uh, pH you know, reef buffer mixed half and half with marine buffer at the moment seems to be doing pretty good particulates don't fall out of the tank when it doses calcium reactors run them pretty good I have a kind of a high setting doesn't seem to be driving the pH down on the tank so anyways thought I'd give you an update on how to get the conductivity to work once you get it done make sure you put it in the sump turn the probe completely upside down in the sump itself so it's upside down and tap it gently don't bang it or it'll cost you 125 bucks but do make sure that every air bubble is out of that probe before you leave it in the sump or in the refugium when you go to put it in the hanger and back drop the height of the hanger way below water level before you go inserting it then raise it back up make sure it never comes up out of the water and gets an air bubble in it if it does it'll be totally inaccurate not even close to what you want and you'll be pulling your hair out day after day trying to figure it out anyways thought I'd give you a quick update get yourself one of these turn the damn thing upside down get all the bubbles out of it and buy an extra one or two or three of these they're only $2.95 I'm sure you'll go through one or two before it's over talk to you later good luck out there in YouTube land with these Apex Neptune Systems conductivity probes take care